participate using any of this equipment, but feel free to contact a crew member if you have any questions. Security is also a concern to take all of your belongings with you when you disembark. If you observe anything that seems out of the ordinary, please bring it to the attention of the captain or a crew member. Thank you for your attention. We hope you enjoy your trip. On behalf of the National Park Service, once again, welcome aboard. Our next stop will be Ellis Island. We are embarking on a journey of great historical significance. Ellis Island was the principal gateway for immigrants arriving into the U.S. between 1892 and 1924. Our current... They passed through these waters on their way to Ellis Island and a new life. By the time they reached New York's busy harbor, they had already spent weeks at sea, usually on the small, overcrowded steerage decks of massive steamships. They were often excited, exhausted, and anxious about what lay ahead. As they neared the end of their journey, these immigrants were greeted by a number of overwhelming sights. Many of these same sights are visible to you today. Look at the Manhattan skyline. Imagine the awe these new arrivals must have felt as the city's grand vista emerged above the waves. For many, New York's landscape was like nothing they had ever seen before. Finally, the lumbering steamships docked in New York City's bustling port and... Prior to 1892, most immigrants passed through Castle Garden, a former military installation now located in Battery Park at the tip of Lower Manhattan. Over the years, it has served as a theater, an opera house, and an aquarium. It is now a National Park Service site known as Castle Clinton. When the federal government took over the processing of immigrants in the 1890s, a new receiving station was constructed on Ellis Island. By the beginning of the 20th century, thousands reached the island's shores every day. You will have the opportunity to 